Hello people, welcome to Gurukla. I am Jai. So today in this video we are going to take up the question. Can you elaborate the functions of OSI layers? Well, if the interviewer asks you to elaborate the functions of OSI layer, so here we have the answer. So OSI layer will have seven layers the OSI model will have seven layers the physical layer data link layer network layer transport layer session layer presentation layer and then application layer so each and every layer will have their own functionalities so in physical layer we will be dealing with the symbols and then the main functionality of the physical layer is transfer of bits from one system to another system so this will take care of the physical link between one system and then the another system. So coming to the second layer, we have data link layer where we will be dealing with the frames here and the main functionality of the data link layer is node to node delivery of a packet. And it also takes the responsibility of reliable transmission of data frames between the nodes connected by a physical layer. Coming to the third layer, we have network layer. We will be dealing with the packets here and the main responsibility of the network layer is source to destination delivery of the packets. So it also manages with the structures and then the network with multiple nodes including addressing like IP addressing and then it takes care of routing the packet in the correct direction and then it takes care of the traffic control on the internet. So coming to the fourth layer, we have transport layer. Here we will be dealing with the segments or datagrams and the main functions associated with the transport layer is process to process delivery of entire message. And also it takes case of reliable transmission of data packets between different points of a network. And coming to the next layer, we have a session layer where we will be dealing with the data and then the session layer is responsible for managing the sessions between the system from one system to the another system. And the presentation layer we will be dealing with the data again and the main responsibility of the presentation layer is it translate the data into suitable format. And not only that it will also encrypt the data for security reasons. And the final layer of the OSI model is application layer. Here we will be dealing with the data again and then it specifies the communication protocol and then it also defines the user interface between the user and then the system. So this is what the function that is associated with all seven layers of the OSI model. So I hope now you got an idea of all seven layers of OSI model and what are all the functions associated with each and every layer. And then how a data will be treated in each and every layer is also depicted in a protocol call. So that's it for this video. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, it's bye from Jai and happy learning.